To complete a project in 48 days, a construction company requires 12 employees. How many more employees would the company require if the project is to be completed in that six days? Solution. In our question here, we are told that to complete a project in 48 days, the construction company requires 12 employees. Therefore, one employee will require one employee one employee requires 48 times 12 which will give us 576 days to complete this project. One employee will require 576 days. Then we are told how many more employees would the company require if the project is to be completed in 36 days. Therefore, if one employee requires 576 days. How many employees will be required to complete the project in that six days? Therefore, we take 576, we divide by 36. From there, we simplify by 36. 1 by 36, we get 16. Therefore, we require 16 employees. And remember the question asks us how many more employees. We already have 12 employees. And here we have found that for the project to be completed in that six days we require 16 employees. Therefore we take 16 minus 12. We get 4. So we require 4 employees. Therefore, our correct answer is C, which is 4. It takes 8 people 10 days to make 40 sweaters. How many more days would it take 5 people to make the same number of sweaters if they all worked at the same rate? Solution. We are told that it takes 8 people 10 days to make 40 sweaters. Therefore, one person to make these 40 sweaters will take one person takes 8 times 10 which will give us 80 therefore one person will take 80 days to make these 40 sweaters then we are asked how many more days would it take 5 people to make the same number of sweaters if they all work at the same rate if one person takes 80 days, what about five people? Therefore, we take 80 divided by five. By five, one. 80 divided by five is 16. So, five people will take 16 days. Then we are asked how many more days. Therefore, five people will take uh, 16 days. Then eight people will take 10 days. Therefore, we take 16 minus 10. We 
we get six days six days therefore our correct answer is a which is six a certain job is completed by 120 people in 12 days if only 80 people turned up for the job how many more days will it take them to complete the job solution Therefore, first let us analyze the question. We are told that a certain job is completed by 120 people in 12 days. Let us write J to represent here job and D to represent days. Now, we are told that the job is completed by 120 people in 12 days. So we write here 120 people who are required to complete this job. Then the days are 12. We write 12 there. Then we are told that if only 80 people turned up for the job, how many more days will it take? them to complete the job therefore from there we can proceed as follows if 120 people complete this job in 12 days what about a uh, one person how many days will one person take therefore one person will take or one person takes 120 times 12 therefore 120 times 12 we get 1440 days therefore one person takes 1440 days to complete this job then the question tells us if only 80 people turned up for the job, if only 80 people, how many more days will it take them to complete the job? If only 80 people. So these 80 people now will share this job which is done by one person who takes 1,440 days. Therefore, we can proceed as follows. We take 1,000 440 we divide by 80 these 80 people now who turned up we can simplify by 81 by 80 we get 18 so these eight these 80 people will take 18 days to complete the job then the question ask us how many more days will it take them to complete the job therefore now we take 18 we subtract these 12 therefore we shall have 18 minus 12 which gives us 6 days so they will take 6 days therefore in this question our correct choice is choice B 6 10 men are paid 5,000 shillings for working 5 days how much will 8 men get for working 20 days if the payment is at the same rate solution so in this question we are told that 10 men are paid 5,000 shillings while working for 5 days. Then we are asked how much will 8 men get for working 20 days if the payment is at the same rate. Therefore now we can proceed as follows. Let us write here 10 men are paid 5,000 shillings 
and these 5,000 shillings they are paid in 5 days they are paid while they work for 5 days then let us find out how much will these men be paid in one day therefore we will take 5000 we divide by 5 we will have 5000 divide by or over 5 then simplify by 5 1 by 5 1000 so these men are paid 1000 shillings per day if they are paid 1000 shillings per day and they are 10 how much is one of them paid therefore we take 1000 this is the total amount of money which they are paid while they are 10 then divide by 10 to get how much does each of them get per day therefore we divide by 10 therefore we shall have 1000 divide it by 10 by 10 we get 1 by 10 we get 100 so each of them is paid 100 shillings each of them is paid 100 shillings then we are told that in the question how much will eight men get for working 20 days and the payment is at the same rate therefore if one man will be paid 100 shillings per day so while they are eight they will be paid eight times 100 shillings So while they are eight in one day, they will be paid 800 shillings. Therefore, in 20 days, how much will they be paid? We shall take 800, multiply by 20. When we multiply by 20, we get 16,000. Therefore, they will be paid 16,000. Therefore, in our case, our answer will be B, 16,000 shillings. In a factory, four machines fill 900 packets of milk in 15 minutes. How many packets will six machines fill in the same period? Solution. Therefore, in this question, four machines fill 900 packets of milk in 15 minutes. Therefore, one machine will have filled one machine fills We take 900 packets which are filled by 4 machines. We divide by 4. Let us simplify. By 4, 1. By 4, 225. Therefore, one machine fills 225 packets within these 15 minutes. Then, the question ask us how many packets will six machine fill in the same period therefore we take six 
times 225 we get 1350 packets therefore our correct answer is B which is 1350 Eight men working at the same rate can unload a lorry in three hours. If two of the men are absent, how much more time will the unloading take? Solution. In this question, we are told that eight men working at the same rate will un unload a lorry in three hours. Then we are told that if two of the men are absent, how much more time will the unloading take? Therefore, we can proceed as follows. One man takes eight times three. Therefore, one man will take 8 times 3. This gives us 24 hours. Therefore, one man takes 24 hours. Then we are told that if two of the men are absent, if two are absent, the number of men which are present will be 8 minus 2, which will give us Six. six therefore we will have six men so these six men now will share this work for one man which is done in 24 hours therefore we shall have 24 divided by six We simplify by 6, 1, by 6, 4. So this, these 6 men now will take 4 hours. And our question asks us how much more time will the unloading take? Now we take 4, we subtract 3. How much more? Take these 4, then minus 3. Therefore, we shall have 4 minus 3, which gives you 1, 1. Therefore, our correct choice will be D, 1 hour. Ten identical tabs can fill a tank of water in 8 minutes. How many more such tabs would be needed to fill the same tank in 5 minutes? Solution We are told that 10 identical tabs fill this tank of water in 8 minutes. Therefore, one tap will take one tap takes 10 times 8 10 times 8 minutes therefore one tap will take 80 minutes to fill to fill the tank one tap takes 80 minutes. Then we are asked how many more such tabs would be needed to fill the same tank in 5 minutes. Therefore in 5 minutes how many tabs would be needed. We take 80, this 80 divided by 5 minutes. Therefore 
we shall get by 5 1 by 5 we get 16 16 taps and the question ask us how many more we already have 10 therefore we take 16 minus 10 which gives us 6 so 6 tabs will be required therefore our correct choice is A 6 6 people working for 5 days we are paid a total of 3600 shillings how much more would the same number of people be paid for 12 days? Solution. Let us analyze this question first. We are told that 6 people working for 5 days are paid a total of 3,600 shillings. Then the question asks us how much more would the same number of people be paid for 12 days therefore from there we can now proceed as follows we take 3600 which is the total amount of shillings which they are paid while working for 5 days therefore we can take 3600 divided by 6 to know how much does each of them get therefore we have 3600 divide it by 6 by 6 1 by 6 we get 600 shillings so each of them is paid 600 shillings and they are paid 600 shillings each of them in five days so per day it gets you take this 600 now divided by five to get how much does each of them get per day therefore we shall have 600 divided by five simplify by five one by five one hundred and twenty so per day it gets one hundred and twenty shillings per day then our question it asks us how much more would the same number of people be paid for 12 days the same number of people which is 6 therefore we shall take 6 multiply by 120 which is the amount which they are paid each of them is paid per day we get 720 shillings therefore these six people per day they get 720 shillings and then we are asked in 12 days in 12 days therefore we will take 720 multiply by 12 we get 8640 shillings and remember our question ask us how much more how much more therefore we take 8640 minus 3600 therefore we shall have 8640 subtract 3600 therefore we get 5040 therefore our correct choice is C 5040 6 steps takes five hours to fill the tank with water how much longer will 
four similar taps take to fill the tank? Solution. In this question, we are told that six taps they take five hours to fill the tank with water. Therefore, one tap takes six times five, which is thirty. Therefore, one tap takes thirty hours. And then we are asked how much longer will four similar taps take to fill the tank. Therefore, four taps now will take if one tap takes that hours, four taps now will take thirty divided by four. Thirty divided by four. We can simplify from there. We can divide by two. Two. Thirty divided by two, we get fifteen. Two divided by two, we get one. 15 divided by 2, we get 7.5. Therefore, 4 tabs will take 7.5 hours to fill the tank. And then we are asked, how much longer will 4 similar tabs take to fill the tank? Therefore, if Six taps take five hours. Four taps will take 7.5 hours to fill the tank. Then how much longer we get 7.5 hours, we subtract five hours. Therefore, we shall have 7.5 hours. We subtract five hours. Here we shall have 5, 7 minus 5, we get 2, 2.5 hours. This is the same as 2 hours and 30 minutes. Or we can talk of 2 and a half hours. Therefore, our correct choice is A, 2 and a half hours. A contractor hired five people to complete a job in six days. Two of the workers did not turn up for the job. How many more days were needed to complete the job? Solution. In this question, we are told that a contractor hired five people to complete a job in six days. Five people to complete the job in six days. Therefore, one person takes five times six. Therefore, one person will take 30 days to complete their job. Then we are told that two of the workers did not turn up for the job. Two of the workers did not turn up for the job. Therefore we take five. These are five. This is the number of the people who completed the job in six days. We subtract two. 5 subtract 2 we get 3 so 3 people turned up for the job then we are asked how many more days we are needed to complete the job therefore we take 30 days this is the time which, is, which one person takes we divide it by 3 therefore we shall have 30 divided by 3. If one person takes 30 days, 
what about three people then from there we can simplify by 3 1 by 3 10 therefore three people will take 10 days to complete the job then the question asks us how much more therefore we take 10 we subtract 6 we shall have we get 4 so they take 4 days therefore our correct choice is A which is 4 15 people working at the same rate would complete some work in 10 days how many days would 6 people need to complete the same work solution In this question, we are told that 15 people working at the same rate would complete some work in 10 days. Therefore, one person will take one person takes 15 times 10 therefore one person will take 150 days to complete the job then we are asked how many days would six people need to complete the same work therefore these six people now they will share this work for one person whereby one person does this work in 150 days therefore we shall have 150 divided by 6 then we simplify by 3 we get 2 by 3 we get 50 then we simplify further by 2, 1, by 2 we get 25. So 6 people will take 25 days. Therefore, our correct choice is C, which is a factory hired 48 laborers to complete a job in 24 hours. If the 12 laborers fail to turn up for the job. How many more hours did those who turned up take to complete the job? Solution. We are told that the factory hired 48 laborers to complete the job in 24 hours. Therefore, one laborer takes... One laborer takes one laborer takes forty eight times twenty four forty eight times twenty four. Then we are told that if the two of laborers failed to turn up for the job. How many more hours did those who turned up take to complete the job? Twelve failed to turn up. So those who turned up, we are going to get their number. We take 48, we subtract 12. Therefore, we shall have 48 minus 12 will give us 36 so that six laborers turned up and then we are asked how many more hours did those who turned up take to complete the job therefore we proceed as follows one laborer takes 48 times 24 
What about 36? Laborers, we divide it by 36. Then, from there, we can simplify. Let us simplify here that 6 divided by 2, we get 18. Then we have 24 divided by 2, we get 12. Then we can simplify further by 2, 9. By 2, 6. Then we simplify by 3, 3, by 3, 2. Then by 3, 1. By 3, we get 16. 16 times 2, we get 32. Therefore, 36 laborers took 32 hours. And the question, remember the question asked us, how many more hours did those who turned up take to complete the job? Take note of this, how many more? So we have 48 laborers, they will take 24 hours. Then 36 will take 32 hours. Therefore, we take 32 minus 24. It will give us 8. Therefore, we have 8 hours. Therefore, our correct answer is A, which is 8. A factory hires 12 workers to complete a piece of work in 5 hours. If two of the workers do not turn up, how long will it take to complete the work? Solution. We are told that this factory hires 12 workers to complete a piece of work in 5 hours. Therefore, one worker takes 1 worker takes 12 times 5. Then we are told that if two of the workers do not turn up, how long will it take to complete the work? If two of the workers do not turn up, if the two workers do not turn up, we shall have 12 minus this 2. We get 10. 12 minus 2. This will give us 10. Now we will have 10 workers. And then we are asked, how long will it take to complete the work? Therefore, one worker takes 12 times 5. What about 10 workers? Therefore, we shall have 12 times 5 over 10. Then we can simplify by 5, 1, by 5, 2, by 2, 1, by 2, 6. Therefore, 10 workers will take 6 hours. Therefore, our correct choice will be D. Six hours. Sixteen workers can dig a field in twelve days. How many more workers are required so as to do the work in eight days? Solution. We are told that sixteen workers can dig the field in 12 days. Therefore, one worker will dig 
or one worker will take sixteen times twelve. Then we are asked how many more workers are required so as to do the work in eight days. Therefore, if one worker takes 16 times 12, what about 8 workers? How many days will they take? We divide by 8. Then from there we can simplify by 8, 1. 16 divided by 8, we get 2. Therefore, we multiply 2 times 12, which will give you 24. Twenty-four days, and the question asks us how many more workers are required so as to work in eight days. So to work in eight days, they will require twenty-four workers, and we are asked how many more. Already we have sixteen workers, therefore we take twenty-four minus sixteen, which will give us twenty-four minus 16 which gives us 8 so we require 8 workers therefore our correct choice is C which is 8 42 men were hired to repair a stretch of road in 14 days how many more men should be hired if the work was to be finished in 12 days? Solution. We are told that 42 men were hired to repair a stretch of road in 14 days. Therefore, one man takes... Forty two times fourteen. Therefore, one man will take five hundred and eighty eight days. Then we are told that how many more men should be hired if the work was to be finished in twelve days. So if this work, which is done by one man in 588 days, if it was done in 12 days, how many men will be required here? Yeah. Therefore, we take 588, we divide by 12. Divide by 12. Then we can simplify by 12, 1, by 12, 49. Therefore, to complete this work in 12 days we require 49 men but our question asks us how many more men should be uh, be hired and we already have 42 of them here therefore we take this 49 we subtract 42 it will give us Seven. So seven men will be required here. Therefore, our correct choice is B, which is seven. Four workers take ten hours to complete a certain job. How many more workers would be hired in order that they do the same job in two hours? Solution. We are told that four workers, they take 10 hours to complete a certain job. Therefore, one worker takes 1 worker takes 4 times 
10. One worker takes 40 hours to complete the job. Then we are asked how many more workers will be hired in order that they do the same job in two hours. So if they do the same job in two hours, we shall take 40, we divide it by two to get the number of workers which will be required to do this job in two hours. Therefore, we shall have 40 over two. Simplify by two, one, 40 divided by two, we get 20. Therefore, we need 20 workers. But the question asks us, how much more workers would be hired? We already have four. Therefore, we take 20, we subtract four. We have 20 minus four. We get 16. Therefore, we need 16 more. Therefore, our correct choice is C, which is 16. 18 people can take 72 days to complete a piece of work. If two of the people did not turn up for the work, how many more days would the remaining number of people working at the same rate take to complete the work? Solution We are given that 18 people take 72 days to complete a piece of work. Therefore, one person takes one person takes 18 times 72 days. One person will take 1,296 days. Therefore, in our question, we are told that if two people do not turn up for the work, Therefore, already we have 18 people. Then two did not turn up. Therefore, the number of people who turned up for the job, we will get it by getting 18 minus 2, which will give us 16. So 16 people turned up for the job. Then we are asked, how many more days would the remaining number of people working at the same rate take to complete the work? Therefore, one person takes 1,296 days. What about 16 people? Therefore, we shall have 1,296 divided by 16. We can simplify by 16, 1 by 1681. Therefore, 16 people will take 81 days. And the question asks us how many more days? We already have year 72 days. Therefore, we take 81 minus 72. will give us nine days. Therefore, our correct answer is A, which is nine. A factory hired nine people to complete a piece of work in 15 hours. 
How many more hours did it take them to complete the work if three people did not turn up? Solution. In this question, we are told that a factory hired nine people to complete a piece of work in 15 hours. Therefore, one person takes one person takes nine times fifteen, which will give us one hundred and thirty five hours. One person takes 135 hours. Then, our question here asks us, how many more hours did it take them to complete the work if three people did not turn up? We have found that one person will take 135 hours. Then here, if three people did not turn up, we already have nine people here. Therefore, we take nine minus three, which is six. Therefore, six people turned up. Then we are asked how many more hours did it take them to complete the work? Therefore, we shall have one that five. This is if one person takes one that five hours. What about six people? Therefore, we take one that five, divide it by six. We simplify by six, we get one. One that five divided by six, we get 22.5. 22.5, this is the same as 22 hours. 30 minutes or we can talk of 2 2 or 22 and a half hours then remember our question asks us how many more hours we already have 15 hours here therefore we take 22 hours and 30 minutes minus 15 hours therefore here let us just have a column of hours here another column of minutes we have 22 hours and 30 minutes minus 15 hours Here we get 30. 22 minus 15 is 7. 7 hours and 30 minutes, which is the same as 7 and a half hours. 7 and a half hours, which is 7 and 1 over 2 hours. Therefore, our correct answer is D. 7 and 1 over 2 hours. 15 painters can paint a number of houses in 12 days. If the number of painters is increased by 5, how many less would it take the painters working at the same rate to paint the houses? Solution. In this question, we are told that 15 painters, they can paint a house in 12 days. Therefore, one painter takes 
15 times 12 which will give us 180 days one painter takes 180 days then we are told that if the number of painters is increased by 5 the number of painters is increased by 5 so we shall have 15 we add 5 we get 20 then we ask how many less would it take the painters working at the same rate to paint the houses therefore we shall have 15 add 5 we get 20 now if one painter takes 118 days what about 20 painters how many days will they take therefore we shall have 180 divided by 20 this work which is done by one painter divide it among 20 painters then from there we can simplify this zero will cancel this zero by 2 1 18 divided by 2 9 therefore they will take 9 days and our question asks how many less would it take the painters working at the same rate to paint the houses how many less therefore 15 painters they take 12 days then 20 painters we have found that they will take 9 days so how many less days will they take we get 12 minus 9 which will give us 3 days therefore our correct answer is D which is 3 6 men working at the same rate can complete digging a chamber in 8 days how many days will it take for of the men to complete the same work? Solution. We are told that six men working at the same rate, they will take eight days to complete digging a chamber. Therefore, one man takes six times eight one man will take 48 days to complete digging the chamber then we are told that how many days will it take four of the men to complete to complete the same work what about four if one man takes 48 days what about four men we take 48 we divide by four from there we can simplify by four one 48 divided by four we get 12 therefore four men will take 12 days therefore our correct answer is a which is 12. 60 people were hired to complete construction of a road in 6 days. 40 of the people did not turn up. How many more days did it take the remaining people to complete the construction? Solution. In this question, we are told that 60 people were hired to complete construction of a road in 6 days. Therefore, one person will take one person takes
60 times 6. One person will take 360 days. Then we are told that 40 of the people did not turn up. So if 40 of the people did not turn up, we shall take 60, we subtract 40. 60 minus 40, which will give us 20. So 20 people turned up. Then we are asked, how many more days did it take the remaining people to complete the construction? So the remaining people now are 20. If one person takes 360 days, what about 20 people? Therefore, we shall have 360 divided by 20. By 20, 1, 360 divided by 20, we get 18. So, they take 18 days. And the question, remember the question asks us, how many more days? How many more days? Take note of this. How many more days? Therefore, we take 18 minus 6. 18 minus 6. Therefore, we shall have 18 minus 6, which will give us 12 days. Therefore, our correct choice is C, which is 12. Six men can complete a job in 20 days. If the men work at the same rate, how many more are needed to complete the job in 12 days? Solution. In this question, we are told that Six men complete the job in 20 days. One man will take one man takes six times 20. Therefore we get 120 days. Therefore one man takes 120 days then we are asked if the men work at the same rate how many more are needed to complete the job in 12 days if this job will be completed in 12 days how many men will be required here therefore we take 120 divided by 12 then we can simplify by 12 1 by 12 10. So we require 10 men. And our question asks us how many more? Take note of this word. How many more are needed? We already have 6. Then we have found that in 12 days we will require 10 men. Therefore we take 10 minus 6. which will give us 4. Therefore, our correct answer is D, which is 4. Two men can complete work on a piece of land in 10 days. How many less days will five such men require to complete the work on a piece of land? Solution. In this question, we are told that two men complete work on a piece of land in 10 days. Therefore, one man takes one man takes two times 
10 which will give us 20 therefore one man takes 20 days then we are asked how many less days will five such men require to complete the work on a piece of land what about five men if one man takes 20 days what about five men how many days will they take therefore we take 20 divided by 5 we can simplify by 5 1 20 divided by 5 we get 4 therefore five men will take four days and our question asks us how many less days take note of this word how many less therefore we have 10 days here which is taken by two men therefore we take 10 we subtract 4 Therefore, it will give us 10 minus 4. This gives us 6. So, they take 6, 6 days. Therefore, our correct answer is B, which is 6. Eighteen pupils we are given a playground to clear in one hour forty minutes. If six of the pupils did not turn up, how much longer did it take the rest of the pupils to clear the playing ground? Solution In our question here, we are told that eighteen pupils were given a playground to clear in one hour and forty minutes. First let us convert these 40 minutes into hours. We shall have 40 over 60. We know that one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. Therefore, from there, we can simplify. 0 will cancel with 0 by 2, 2, by 2, 3. Therefore, 40 minutes are equivalent to 2 over 3 hours. Therefore, the time which they took to clear this playing ground is 1 and 2 over 3 hours. Then, we can say, one pupil will take, one pupil takes, 18 times 1 and 2 over 3 hours. Then from there, let us convert this 1 and 2 over 3 hours. Convert it into improper fraction. This is 5 over 3 hours. Therefore, one pupil takes 18 times 5 over 3. Then from there, we simplify by 3, 1. 18 divided by 3, we get 6. 6 times 5, we get 30. Therefore, one pupil will take that hours to clear the playing ground. And then, the question asks us if six of the pupils did not turn up and we have the number of pupils here is 18. Therefore, we take 18 minus 6. We shall have 18 minus 6 which gives us 12. So, only 12 pupils Turned up. Then we are asked, how much longer did it take the rest of the pupils to clear the playing ground? Therefore, we say, if one pupil takes 30 hours. One pupil 
takes 30 hours. What about uh, 12 pupils? Therefore, we have 1 times 30 divided by 12. From there, we can simplify. We can divide by 6. 12 divided by 6, we get 2. 30 divided by 6, we get 5. So, 12 pupils take 5 over 2 hours. And 5 over 2 hours, let us convert these into minutes. That is 5 over 2. We know 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. Therefore, 5 over 2 multiply by 60. Convert these hours into minutes. Then from there, simplify by 2, 1. 60 divided by 2, we get 30. Then we multiply 5 times 30, we get 150 minutes. This 150 minutes, let us convert it into hours. We know that 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. We shall find that here we have 2 hours and 30 minutes. In this 150 minutes, we have 2 hours and 30 minutes. Then we, our question asks us, how much longer did it take the rest of the pupils to clear the playing ground? Therefore, 18 pupils took 1 hour and 40 minutes. And 12 pupils took 2 hours and 30 minutes. Therefore, we subtract. We can have a column here of hours and another column of minutes. Then we write 2 hours and 30 minutes. Then here we have 1 hour and 40 minutes. Then from there we subtract. When you subtract 30 minus 40, this one is not possible. We have to borrow 1 hour from here. We shall borrow it here and we bring it here as 60 minutes. Therefore, here we shall be left with 1. And here, on this side, we shall have 60. 60, we add 30. It will give us 90. Then 90, we subtract 40. We get 50. Here it is 0. Therefore, our correct answer will be B, which is 50 minutes.